I want to talk to you about uh, troubleshooting with the Artisan software. I am not using the, hot, the latest upgrade, which I think is like 10 now or something. I'm still on 9, uh, let's see, I think I'm on 9.1 or something like that. Oh, 0 0.9.2. <clears throat> I've heard some people have had some issues with the latest, but I'm not sure if the issues are because they're using older computers, using Windows, which tends to be a problem in of itself, or uh, other reasons. Uh, a driver not properly installed. This is a Mac, and if you can see it now, and let me see if I can make it a little clearer for the screen. Mm, that didn't seem to do too much. Okay, let's see if I can adjust it. Okay, that's a little bit better. As you can see, I've got my machine on, my roaster, but I don't have the heat on because uh, I just want to do a simple test. The uh, reading on the uh, uh, temperature controls is uh, correct. But what seems to be one of the number one problems, it always seems to come down to uh, the configuration. So we're going to go to the configuration with device. Uh, my glasses aren't that clean. Uh, this is on a BC unit, so we got the mode bus, got the uh, environmental and bean temperature curves, LCD is checked off, and as long as the meter is on mode bus, you're okay so you can hit okay and then when you hit okay it all automatically brings up the uh, serial ports now here's where the problem generally seems to originate uh, aside from all the things that are in our manual the baud rate 9600 byte size 8 uh, the next one n stop bits 1 timeout 1 um, slave 1, register 0, function 3, C, input 2, slave 1, register 2, function 3, uh, mode C, floats checked off. Here's where the real problem comes in. You go to adjust the temperature uh, after you get it started and you think that you've got uh, it set for the correct port and oftentimes it's not to the correct port so you click on OK and like in this situation all of a sudden the environmental temperature and the bean temperature say zero so the first thing you think of is well this is really off I need to go into the roast to uh, set my temperature to Fahrenheit because evidently I didn't set it to uh, Fahrenheit. Kind of hard for me to work this little mouse jobby. There we go. But so people will go into roast. Of course you have to have the you have to have the software off so let's make sure it's off. And then they'll go into the roast and they'll say okay temperature convert to Fahrenheit. So they go down and they convert it to Fahrenheit mode and then they go to run the roast again. And what happens? Uh, looking over here, now even though you thought you converted it to Fahrenheit, it appears that you converted it to Celsius. But really, and you can get caught up in all that. You can think, okay, I gotta convert it again. But the real problem is in the configuration of the serial port you did not per pick the proper serial port. So go back in here and pick it. It usually will say USB on it. And so this says FT232R USB UART. Now I'm going to click OK. OK. Now, because I probably did set it over into a, a setting that wasn't accurate, it's showing all these crazy numbers like 194.9 on the ET 194 on the BT so this is because I did not and of course I got the system running so I gotta hit stop off 
or you won't be able to do anything with it. Once you hit off, then go in and now set the temperature to, let's try it, convert to Celsius mode, okay? So now you're thinking, well, why would I want to convert to Celsius mode? Just do it, and then try and see what happens. Okay, watch. In a minute, it should bring up the temperature. Even though I hit convert to Celsius mode, it's actually bringing up the uh, bean temperature and the uh, environmental temperature, which is exact to what uh, is on my uh, machine. So, the first key thing to do is make sure that you're configuring it to the correct serial port, which is usually going to say something USB, and then play around while it's off. While you've hit after you've hit the off button. Go to the roast, to the temperature, and uh, well, I won't do it now because I'm going, but let's hit it off. It won't allow you to adjust the temperature setting while it's off. So you hit the temperature, and now it's telling me to adjust to Fahrenheit mode. Well, I'm already in Fahrenheit mode. If I hit Fahrenheit mode now, let's see what happens. So now, logically, you think we're in Fahrenheit mode. And now we're going to hit on. And in a second, it's showing these crazy numbers. So hit off again, and then go back under roast, and then go down to Celsius mode. Don't ask me why it does that, but now when we click it on, it's not taking me to Celsius mode. It's taking me to Fahrenheit, and that fixes the problem. Then you can go ahead and start. And of course, if I start it and ran it here while I'm talking to you for five minutes, this is going to be a straight line because I don't have the, the gas on uh, on my roaster. But if I did, you'd see it starting to make its climb. And so I'm going to hit stop. Let's say you did a roast and you went through all those numbers and you clicked on them. Then uh, when you go to reset, it asks you if you want to save it. And of course, if you did a profile, you would save it. Since I did not, I'm not saving it. So hopefully that helps answer what problems you may have in the confusion about temperature as well as the correct USB port to run Artisan.